All right. So how are you, Robbie? Good morning. I'm good. Thank you. Good. How, how are you feeling? Better. Uh, yeah. No headaches. Well, less headaches over okay. the last few days because I was having a headache all day, every day. So that's oh. good. Really good. Good. Yeah. So, and I've been doing my exercises and um, I did warm up this morning on elliptical so that we would be ready to go. Oh, that's good. So you said you were having headaches all day, every day. What's it? What are the headache? What's the headache? Uh, it's just now? Part, yeah, tension here, but right now nothing. So that's good. So you you have periods. What happens right after you exercise? Uh, it actually gets better. Okay. And how long does that last? How long can you be at your computer before it comes back in now? Um, probably about an hour. Okay. It's fair. Yeah. I'm trying to get up and move. Good. All right. Um, do you have any questions about your, your exercises? I think I'm good. Um, the one that's over the back of the chair, um, the back of my office chair is much higher. Yeah. So I've just been doing that on a foam roller. Perfect. Okay. Do you, um, so do you mind just showing me your exercises? Sure. That would be great. Uh, let, me, let me move you up there. <laughs> All right. All right. Yep, I can say again. Can you see me? Yes, I can. Okay. So, first one. Yeah, I actually really like this angle because I can see your alignment. Well, that's good. That's good. Okay. Okay. So while you're in this position, can I add something in and let's just see how it goes? Sure. Let's put your hand behind your back, your back. So take your arm right there, put it in your low back, yep. And I, so now open your elbow. Yeah, open your elbow, rotate your chest. Yep, and then can you, while you're there, you're gonna turn your palm to the ceiling, stretch your arm out, bring it up and over your head. Good, bring it back. Fold it back into the small of your back and close everything up. Can you add that variation in for me and just do four of those? So the one thing is your palm. I don't like how your palm is. No, yeah, come back to the small of your back. As you straighten your arm to the, behind you, you're gonna flip your thumb and then your palm to the ceiling. So, that as, so your palm is already facing the ceiling. Ah, oh, you gotta go the other way, flip the other way. Okay. There you go. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Uh, yeah. And fold in. Let's do three more of those. Fold back in to start. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. I'm cheating. <laughs> start again. Blech. That's your start position. Open, reach, palm to the ceiling. Oops, late. There you go. Ah, yep, up and over. Tap down. Reverse the whole thing into the small of your back and fold. Good. And two, reach up and over. Yep, there you go. And come back up and, yep, fold in and close. And three. Mm -hmm. Good, up and over. Good. All done. And good. And four. Mm -hmm. Yep, up and over. Good, take a little break. Let's do that on the other side, just four of them on the other side. And what I'd like you to do, how does that feel, by the way? Let's start there. Feels fun. Okay, so what I want you to do now is, <clears throat> you have been doing 10 of these. Uh -huh. I just want you to do five of the plain Janes, and then okay. you're gonna do five of the fancy schmancy. Okay. Okay. We'll put that on my extra list, fancy. I, I will, I'll add it in. I will know what's the name, okay. Huh? I don't know what fancy schmancy means. Yes. I'll record it. I'll send you a little recording. There you go. So this just, this just helps to mobilize your ribs a little bit more in more directions, right? Makes sense. 
and it works on your shoulder blades too. Getting those wrapped around your, uh, your rib cage there. So that's why the palm turning is so important, right? And that's really hard for you on this side. So turn up, turn that thumb and palm to the ceiling as much as you can. Yep. <laughs> Don't skip that part because that's the part that shoves your shoulder blade back along your ribs. Yeah. There you go. I'm helping with my voice. It's creaky. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Come on up. Last one. See, it's much easier when I help, right? The voice helps. Yeah. Yeah. It's perfect. All right, so then can I see your foam roller or thoracic extension? Okay, so this one. So I've just been here and tucking. Yeah. In the back and then rotating. Yeah, so um, try that one where you lift your tush up a little bit. You may have to start the, the roller a little bit further down. So for balance, bring your feet in now. That's it. That's it. Lift your tush up. Uh, so you're in that little, because it gives you a little bit more um, tension down into yeah. your, yep, so then you find your spot, good, and then you're going to steer your elbows side to side. Good, and I'm just, can you uh, keep doing that? I want to take a quick picture of that, okay. uh, because um, that's different than how we're doing it. Is that okay? That's yep, that's perfect. I got it. Okay. That way I'll send it to you and we'll, uh, we'll be able to clarify that for folks. Sorry, I'm just cutting and pasting it into my document there. Okay. All right. Good. That. Like that works really well. Okay. And so then um, if I can see the, um, yeah. Right here. So that's where you're working on that right rotation. Yeah. Oh, that's looking so much better because your chin and your nose are going in line. And I've been doing a lot of these at my desk. I bet. That's really good. That's great. Okay. And then how about the forward? Oh, yeah. Good. And then ending with the... The nodding yes and the nodding no. And when you're nodding no, you're really focused on the upstroke, right? Right, and that's where I feel yeah. it, right? Yeah. yeah. Good. Same with that. Good. I hear the rocks in my head grinding. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so um, just for kicks and giggles, go ahead and just turn to the right. How's it going? Better. Hey, that is much better, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And turn to the left. Good. And how about trying to tuck that your chin down to the... Hey, that's better too. Yep. You're closer and tuck down. So much better. All right, very good. So, do you have a TheraBand? Yes. Okay, the thing I want to do now is I also want to start to give some strength training exercises. Okay. Okay. Do you want a straight one or a loopy one? I think let's do a straight one. And uh, do you have it's is it do you have one that's like four or five feet long? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Okay. I'll put and you, you back. can stay right here. You can come right back to here okay. to this position. Yeah. We have choices. Oh, we have choices. Let's start with the blue one. This one. And let's move your let's uh, move your uh, foam roller out of the way. But you're going to be sitting long, sitting in the same orientation that you were for your um, for your uh, thoracic extension. So yeah, you're going to face sideways so I can see you. Either way, doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, what I'd like to do is I'd actually like you to wrap your TheraBand around your feet. Mm -hmm. Okay, slide back just a little bit so I can see your feet too. 
There you go. Okay. So what we're going to do is you're, you go ahead and choke up on your TheraBand so that you're a little closer into your ankles. Yep. So your arms are, there you go. You can pull your elbows back. Okay. Okay. What I want you to, this is going to be a, a multi-part exercise to learn it. Okay. Okay. Right, so the first, uh, the first stage of learning is we're going to do railroad tracks with your legs. Okay. okay. Um, and what that means is your legs stay in parallel, so they don't wander out to the side, but you're going to telescope your right foot and retract your left leg. Telescope your right leg, retract. Yep, exactly right. And then switch. There we go. So I call that railroad tracks. Okay. Yep. And your legs stay, because your legs have to stay in parallel, but clearly your pelvis is moving, right? To pull your right. right hip back and then your left hip back. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's part A. I, I love that. That's beautiful. Yes. When, we, when we go do this full exercise, you won't have to break it up into parts. This is just me trying to teach you. Okay. okay. Now what I want to do is I actually want you to not sit up so straight. You're allowed to curl back. Nope. Curl okay. back through your lumbar spine, but you have to really pull your belly button in. And you are going to sink your chest exactly the way you're doing this. That's beautiful. All right. And you're going to telescope again. So railroad track again. And what you should find is that's going into your low back a little bit more. Yep. But it's okay, right? Not a lot of pain. It's just mobility. All good. Okay. So the final piece of this is the retracting leg is the same. So your palms are actually going to turn into one another, right? Okay. And your retracting leg, your elbow is going to come with you. So your elbow is really going to pull past your ribs. And so take a look at me for a minute, right? When you pull back, you're really going to pull back and twist and follow your head with your elbow. Okay. Okay. So let's see. That's it. Curve, for, curve your chest forward a little bit more. I want a deeper curve in that chest. There you go. That's it. And alternating a little bit faster. We've got one, two, don't stop in the middle, three, four, five. Really telescope that right leg. Yep. That left leg's doing a good job. I can't, I should be able to see your right leg though. That's it. Eight and one, two, don't rock off your sit bones. Three, four, don't bend your knees. Five, six, seven, eight and three two there you go three four sink your chest forward five six seven eight and four two three four five six seven eight take a break and come on up how do you feel good that's hard it's hard. <laughs> it should work your tummy. It should open up your ribs. You just want to make sure that you don't get your, your sternum behind your, uh, your hips, right? So you're really trying to get that deep curve. Yep. But that was good. So that's, that's exercise A, right? So uh, it's the, it's the railroad tracking with arm pull. Okay. And what that, that is, it's an abdominal, it's like a total body exercise, an abdominal exercise. It's going to open up ribs. It's going to start to train back muscles. Okay. So that's your first one to warm you up. Oh, stay there. Sorry. Second one, you're now going to cross your TheraBand so that there is across your ankles and you're, uh, and you're holding. Yep. Okay. And now you're going to, again, you'll choke up depending on your, um, Okay. what your strength and needs are and what your tolerance is but you're going to do a low row okay pull your elbows right past your ribs and now you're sitting as tall as you can right one and release and two release and three release and four release and five release and six release and seven release and eight release good then you're going to come into a high row so elbows go high <clears throat> one release good two release and three release and four release and five release and six release and seven release and eight 
Release, good. Take a little break because I think you may have to let some of your tension go. You're gonna pull your elbows back again. Right? Okay. And then you're gonna do a bilateral rotator cuff where you're gonna open those arms out to the side one, but your elbows have to pull back. Okay. Stay there and now you're opening up rotator cuff, both sides oh. one. This is harder, oh. yep. Say again. Nope, both oh. at the same time. Nope, same oh. time. One, two, three. Keep those elbows tucked in. Four, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> So what you're doing, Robbie, is you're doing this, and what I want is just a spin. A uh, pure spin. Yeah, you may have to loosen up a little bit. This is a hard one. Two, there you go. Three, good. Four, that's much better. Five, good. Six, yep. Yeah. Seven, good. Eight, let's do the whole thing from the beginning. That was a great rehearsal. Here we go. <laughs> low rows. Oh no, uh, yeah, just the low rows. Ankle uh, cross, across. Uh, yeah. You did the other one well. So this uh, is, all right, here we go. Low rows, sitting up tall. One, crown it, there you go. And two, and three and four and five and six and seven and eight high rows one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight into rotator cuff and one spin one good two yep three sitting up tall four there you go and five six seven and eight beautiful all right take a little break how do you feel good okay go ahead and cross your arm cross your legs now you can come and uh, turn and face me Okay. Yeah. So I'll just have to explain. I always count in eights because oh. I'm listening to music, but <laughs> most people think I'm nuts. So, uh, so I'm going to send it to you as sets of 10, but I recognize that we were just doing it in sets of eight because that's okay. how my, my head hears music. So. <laughs> Music going in my head too. Exactly. And you know, who counts tens with you when you get phrases of eight? <laughs> No chance in music. <laughs> That's right. Well, there probably are, but it's very discordant then. That's right. All right. Anyway, you're taking that TheraBand. It's across your lap. Uh-huh. Yep. And you're going to do fists down. Yep. Uh -huh. And we're just going to take it on diagonals. One. Two. Yep. And so I would like to have enough tension between, hold on, enough tension, let's set it up right, between the TheraBand so that it's not on slack when we start. So uh -huh. there may be a fine art to that, but yep. Good, and just keep it in front of your chest. So, uh, and so what I'd like the, I'd like the line to come right across your sternum, not your nose, right? So it's, that's it. Yep, perfect. Good. Try and keep, keep straight arms top and bottom. Mm-hmm. That's it. Good. Good, take a break. All right, that's your set of exercises now, okay? To try and make sure, again, we're gonna, we're gonna keep working on the mobility, then we work on, on supporting that, a little bit of stability strengthening, um, and then we really work on the, the um, upper back and, and intrascapular muscles okay. Okay, to try and support. So I'm gonna send all of that to you. Um, your warm up is the same. The only change that I made was I uh, did a fancy schmancy variation of your first exercise. Yep. Um, and then this series really, uh, you, you know, if you can get this done once a day, okay? okay. And what I would think about is, you know, three sets of 10 or four sets of eight, however you want to do that, right? Okay. Um, but do the warm up. Um, the telescoping arm pull warm up first.
complete Edit. that first, okay? All four sets of eight there. And then you can, you can rotate your eights for the other exercises. So you'll do your low rows, your high rows, your rotator cuff, one set. Low rows, high rows, rotator cuff, two sets. And then the alternating um, uh, TheraBand pulls, um, you'll just have to maybe take a little break in between. Okay. okay. And then doing the same mobility stuff I like doing three times a day, like a yes, lot. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That I think is really important because that's what's gonna that's what's gonna keep you kind of out of that tension headache that builds, right? right. Um, but my hope is that, and what should happen is, as you get stronger, your you'll have more muscles helping to kind of support you while you're working. And the only caveat there is because of your contacts, you know. I, you yeah. still have to adjust to your screen in a way that probably brings in the tension headaches. And, and oh. if we had, you know, if we were able to get glasses, you know, there, there, yeah. there's sort of a next set of things that I don't think is, is feasible well, right just, now. Yeah. I was supposed to have an eye doctor appointment next week. Of course, right. you know, they're, they're canceling those. Right. Um, and that's what I was going to ask him if, if he could do something for my middle vision just for when I was working. So I wasn't, Right. That. And that's exactly what I would recommend is that you is you get glasses for middle vision so that you can keep your, the proper uh, yeah. line up for your head and your neck when you're at the computer. But given that that's not an option right now, <laughs> let's go ahead and, and stick with what we're doing. I mean, you definitely you have more range and you're feeling better. So that's good. And now we'll get you stronger. Sweet. All right.